Please welcome to the stage conductor, Deanna Pham. Put your hands together for writers and producers of Across the Spider-Verse, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. What? Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to this enormous, beautiful theater. It's a dream come true for filmmakers. Thank you guys for coming to our David Lean art film about Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, we, this is, this film is an epic, um, instead of a thousand extras, we have a thousand artists on this crew. They worked for five years to make the movie. Please let them hear it. And many of them are in the audience tonight. We've got the voice of Spider-Man India, Karin Sony. Please stand up. We got our trio of super directors, Justin K. Thompson, Kemp Powers, and oh my God, Joaquin, Joaquin Dos Santos. That's right. Our incredible producing team, Amy Pascal, the legend. Avi Arad. Also a legend. And, and Christina, Christina Steinberg, a super legend. Our co-writer, Dave Callahan. Picture editor Mike Andrews, and people don't realize how much goes into editing an animated film. It's a lot. <laughs> Production designer Patrick O'Keefe. And the leadership team at VFX uh, and Animation. Alan Hawkins, head of animation at Imageworks. And, and Christian Henjal and Mike Lasker, VFX super wizards that made the movie look as beautiful as it does. But the visual effects accomplishment of this movie cannot be overstated. It literally, they made images that were not possible until we made this film. So please, give your, put your hands together for everybody who put, made this movie. This night is about the music and this amazing orchestra right in front of you, but especially... Are, I, I had the pleasure of watching these guys rehearse and they are sick. <laughs> Uh, this is an incredible musical group of people, and uh, we want to highlight two filmmakers that we made the movie with um, that headed up our music. One of them is the incredible recording artist Metro Boomin. He's literally the biggest thing in music. <laughs> Most successful hip hop producer working today. And an incredible filmmaker, incredibly musical musician. He just like, he's not afraid to make his songs pretty. He's not afraid to make them evocative. And they rip. <laughs> <laughs> and also, our composer, Daniel Pemberton. <laughs> Daniel is a genius. He wrote every single note of the score himself with uh, scratching of the orchestra and geese and other crazy instruments that no one has ever tried to use for a movie before. He's a mad genius, and this movie, the soundtrack, and the score have become a cultural phenomenon, and it's thanks to both of these gentlemen. Um, so please give it up for the maestro, Daniel Pemberton. Hey, Los Angeles. Right, this is a huge honor to be here and also to work on this movie because as a composer, it's not very often you get to work on a movie where every single person on that movie is pushing the boundaries as far as they can go. And so all the amazing artists who you've all just applauded, everyone in this movie is trying to make something that you've never seen, never heard, never experienced before, which for me is what cinema is about. It's about pushing the boundaries giving people an experience like nothing else they've ever had before. But as a result, it makes it a really complicated score. No easy sit at home, hold down some string pads and some taiko drums 
and go to the pub. So, you know, on this score, we have like, we have a, an orchestra, we have like a, a punk rock band, we have amazing percussionists, drummers, amazing DJ scratching, we've got whistling, we've got one of the world's greatest face slappers has been flown in at great expense by Sony for this as well, because I insisted there's one cue with some face slapping. Um, but you know, as a result, it's, you know, it's an incredibly complicated score, so this is the first time we've ever done it, and it might be a bit spotty in places, there might be some times when the dialogue's not loud enough, or, so, you know, it's, it's a different experience to going to cinema. So it's like, just enjoy the vibe of tonight. Um, but, you know, one of the big things in this first film I just want to sort of talk about is the turntables, because with this film there's always different universes, Gwen's universes, 2099's universes, and Miles' universe, and I really wanted to capture you know, something special for each of them. And, and as Miles was the first film, Turntables was my way in to like, give him a different vibe. And I wanted to explain this thing we do in this film, which is called Scratch the Orchestra, because I talk about it, and it's very hard to understand. So we'll kind of give you a little demonstration here. So the orchestra would play something like this. And then we would get this transferred to, by magical technological gizmo juice onto a turntable, which the amazing DJ Damage would demonstrate it coming off that. And then we can manipulate the sound. We can bring it a piece. So that's one of the things we do, but. The, the great thing about this film is you have the freedom to experiment like to so many crazy levels. So one of them was like, we'd have the scene earlier on the film where we meet Miles. I was like, let's just scratch all the kind of noises that we hear on screen. So I'll give you a little demonstration. You play the Miles beat. Abdul, crank that up a bit. So we might have, let's say, punches. There's some people being punched. So we just scratch some punches. Or spray tan. Miles is a spray tan. But my favorite thing that sums up this entire film is the fact the filmmakers let me scratch the sound of a goose honk. So for me, that sums up the environment which we all got to work in on this movie. Every artist, every creative on this, we got to just push the boundaries. So tonight, we are going to try and do this for the first time ever. This has never been done before, this film. I hope it doesn't all go wrong. Um, if it does, bear with us, but I don't think it will. But the other thing I want to say is how to behave, right? You're a very classy Hollywood audience here. Yeah. You probably don't like clapping and cheering, especially in the cinema, or making any noise. And in a cinema, I'd normally like, yeah, shut the fuck up. But this is a different experience, right? It's going to be loud, it's going to be raucous. If you're enjoying yourself, make some noise. If someone turns up on screen, make some noise. Just want to make some noise anyway, just go for it. It's like, you want to watch this film? You know, go see the cinema or on Netflix or wherever it is at the moment. But this is a different experience. So, I'm going to hand you over to Amazing Diana and this orchestra. And this is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse live for the very first time in the entire world tonight. Yeah.